Typically, we would think about it as a source of, of funding for the government, not a source of revenue that would go directly into the budget, but potentially a source of funding that would finance a deficit. But in this instance, that funding may or may not go, um, may or may not go to the government. So I think really the Aramco privatization brings up issues that were discussed along the lines of attracting foreign investors, you know, a demonstration effect in terms of the openness of the economy, um, those, those kinds of broader issues. It's not, it's not, a, it's not an issue of funding uh, for the government, which is the typical way we would think about uh, potentially privatization uh, receipts, that the government could use it to pay down debt, which in this instance is, is not the intention. So I think it's, we, we think about it differently, I would say, in, in Saudi Arabia than we would in typical privatization industry. The government doesn't need the funding, essentially. And it will continue to be a source of income, and in a very important source of income, um, to the government. You know, bottom line for us, it's not going to have that much of an impact, even though the numbers are very large. It's not going to have that much of an impact on the sovereign rating, if any, um, at all. I think the demonstration effect and some of the other things that we've been talking about are probably much more important than the, than the direct funding implications for the government.